We've been living in Kingstown for the past 10 years. We haven't lived anywhere else in Northern Virginia. While we help people move from Loudoun County all the way to Stafford County and as far west as Gainesville to Arlington, Kingstown still continues to be one of the best places we believe you should live in Northern Virginia. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some pros and cons of living in Kingstown. I think it's gonna be an interesting video because it's going to be from a local's perspective. I classify anyone who has been in Northern Virginia more than nine years as a local, Congratulations, I'm now a local. Before we begin, I'm Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. On this channel, we do all the research so you don't have to. When you're ready to start your real estate journey, whether that's buying a home, selling a home, or investing in real estate, click on the link in the description to fill out your perfect home questionnaire. After you complete the form, we will schedule a time to meet online via Zoom to answer any and all of your real estate questions. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos about relocating to the Northern Virginia area. Now that we have that out the way, one of the pros of living in Kingstown is that you have an easy commute, or let me say you have an easy way to start your commute. In addition to having two metro stations, we have Franconia, Springfield, and Van Dorn. We do claim the Van Dorn metro station because if you're on the eastern side of the Kingstown community, you just take Van Dorn Street straight up and you're right on metro. Whereas if you're on that eastern side of the community, you're not going to want to go to the western side to go to the Franconia Springfield station. Another reason why the commutes here are a little bit easier is you also have access to one VRE stop. There's also two on ramps to the the interstate, we have one on-ramp that takes you to the mixing bowl. The mixing bowl is a very complicated system of interstates that can take you either north to Tyson's, to the west to Baltimore, or to the south to Richmond or the Woodbridge area. The next on-ramp is going to be off of Van Dorn and that will allow you to either go to the east to like the Tyson's area or to the west to the Baltimore area. For my people who like to carpool, you can use the slug station in Springfield. It's about four miles outside of the community. Last but not least, Fairfax Connector Bus also has stops throughout the community. Having access to grocery stores is another reason why living in Kingstown is so amazing. We have five grocery stores within a one mile radius. We're from New Orleans. We like to cook a lot. So we're always running to the grocery store and you have a bunch to choose from. We have a Wegmans, which if you haven't been to Wegmans, Wegmans is like a higher end Walmart, not a Target though. So a Wegmans is unique, is different. Also people just love the concept. We also have a Walmart or really a super Walmart that has the little grocery section. We have an Aldi, we have a Safeway, Giant. Those are gonna be your major big box grocery stores inside the community. There's also a very boutique grocery store called Niles Produce. It's a family owned business. It's almost like a year round farmer's market that has traditional business hours. The last thing I want to mention is that we have international markets in Northern Virginia. There are two right outside of the Kingstown area. They're called LA Mart. You can either go to the one in Springfield. My preferred LA Mart is going to be the Alexandria location. Off of Van Dorn, I find that they have a nice selection, a very clean store. You gotta go whenever you are in that area. If you need something to eat when you're living in Kingstown, we have plenty of restaurants, which is another pro. I'm just gonna name a couple of restaurants that I've already been to in the Kingstown area over the last 10 years. We have a hibachi restaurant, our hibachi style restaurant called Osaka Japanese Steakhouse. We also have Burton's, which is gonna be like an American style restaurant. We have Kitchen Cray, which is a mix of soul food and American food. Their fried chicken and French toast is delicious. Now, when it comes to pizza, we have several different pizza options. So we have your fast food type of pizza options, which are gonna be Pizza Hut, Domino's, and Papa John's. Now, if you want something a little bit more fancy, we have Johnny's New York style pizza, which is going to be in Manchester. Then we have Uno and Lido, which is going to be in the town center. Last but not least, we have Stone Hot, which is in the Hayfield area. If you want something a little bit fancy, I would recommend Osteria Marzano. It's an Italian restaurant. Believe it or not, they have a delicious 
burger. They have a $20 burger on their menu. Nothing is not good at this place. So let me try it. And that thing was huge and delicious. Another fancy spot or semi fancy spot is gonna be Bonefish Grill if you're into seafood. It's important to have things to do inside of the community. And one of the things I love about living in Kingstown is that we have access to a movie theater inside the community. That's another pro to living here. We have a Regal movie theater, which is inside the town center. I really only go to the movie theater on Tuesdays because Regal has this special where you pay between five and $7 for movies. We also have a second Regal cinema, right? Same theater company. This one is only four miles away in the Springfield Mall. Same concept, except it's a little bit smaller and the seats recline. So we like to go there if we are going to see a long Marvel movie. If you're a golfer or you're thinking about getting back into the game, this community has you covered. We have access to two golf courses and we have a driving range inside the community boundaries. The company is called Rudy's Golf and Sports Bar. It's an old Top Golf. It's actually the first Top Golf location in America. Top Golf moved out of the community because that space was really too small for their footprint and Rudy's took over. They're still using the same Top Golf technology. Actually, I prefer the older technology because now all you need is a, a bucket of balls, right? So you could just play as much as you want versus having that little machine dispense the balls at the new Top Golf locations. This is my preference. Okay, so you have your driving range out the way, right? So you know you're going to get your practice in. What about the courses? We have two courses that are right outside of the community. We have Greendale Golf Course, which is a Fairfax County golf course. So it's managed by the county. So you're always going to have reasonable prices. And we have Fort Belvoir Golf Course, which is going to be on a military base. Fort Belvoir is off of Telegraph and Fairfax County Parkway. This pro to living in Kingstown is something that you, you learn once you move into the community is that we have a really good community vibe. I think that the HOA does a great job of getting us together and also hosting events. There's this great haunted house every Halloween that there's lines around the block to get into this place. There's also a great Easter egg hunt. There's a photography club that I've participated in myself and there are card game nights. So there are always things to do inside the Kingstown community. If you like walking or maybe you work from home and you'd like to take breaks and be around nature, Kingstown has plenty of trails. We have trails with hills. We have trails with lakes. We have trails with wildlife. We have trails alongside roads. If that's your thing, you'll always see people walking around the area as well. I love the trails. I also like the diversity that the trails offer. Maybe you want a challenging trail. So you'll go up a trail that has a hill, or maybe you just want to have like a little peaceful walk and you'll just go around one of the lakes. Kingstown has a bunch of trails. I think you'll like it here. This is gonna be a bit of a unique pro to the Kingstown area in that we have a ton of gyms. So if you wanna be in shape, if you wanna make sure you have access to gym equipment around the clock, Kingstown has you covered. Now, if you stay in Kingstown proper, so the HOA, the HOA itself has two gyms. There's one at the Snyder Center and there's one at the Thompson Center. The Snyder Center location opens up at 5 a.m. in the morning and I believe it closes at about 9 p.m. on weekdays. Those hours didn't really work for me, so I also have a membership at Anytime Fitness which is in Manchester Lakes community, which is right next door to Kingstown. We also have a Planet Fitness, which is going to be in the Hayfield community. We also have an LA Fitness, which is going to be over there by Wegmans and Island Creek area. And if you want like a larger athletic compound, we do have one of those just about three or four miles away at the Franconia Rec Center. This is a facility managed by the county. You will have to pay to gain access, but it's a full gym. There's an indoor pool. There's soccer fields, all types of good stuff inside the Franconia Rec Center. We have school age kids right now, so we have a rising eighth grader and a rising 10th grader. One of the things I like about the Kingstown community is the fact that the schools, the high schools, have all types of events for you to go to. And we see people from the community, even people who don't have kids come to the football games, basketball games, baseball games. There's also soccer games. 
They even throw plays at the different schools. So you have a very active high school environment where kids are putting on these performances for you. This pro to living in Kingstown is special to me because we moved up here 10 years ago to give our boys a great childhood experience. We didn't feel like we could do that in New Orleans without moving outside of the New Orleans area, which then makes you wonder why I live in New Orleans. So we trekked up here from the South for this one thing. My kids walked to elementary school, middle school, and high school. The school that they go to, Hayfield Secondary School, is a combination middle school and high school. So it goes from seventh grade to 12th grade. It's all in one building. I know it's kind of weird, but that's how you do it. And my boys, because of where we live, they can walk to school. It is so cool. The reason why it's cool is because my boys have been walking to school with their crew for the last, my oldest son, for the last 10 years, really 11 years, right? Because he was in kindergarten too. That is such a unique experience. It's so cool to see the kids grow right like all of their friends are getting taller and bigger their voices are getting deeper i believe that they'll have stronger connections to their friends and this is one of the things that we dreamed of providing for our kids is this great like community feel school experience and also for them to have friends from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade this is a great pro in my opinion all right all right so now you know the pros of living in kingstown we're about to get into the cons very shortly if you're still here with me type kt in the comment section also do me a favor if you like this video subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with a friend let me know in the comment section are there any pros to living in kingstown that i missed if you're excited about moving to kingstown tell me what pro you're most excited about benefiting from yourself with that out the way let's get into the cons one of the cons i hear regularly about the kingstown area it's not a con for me because my kids are in public school is that we have middle of the road or middle rated schools public schools right so sometimes we have people who are relocating to northern virginia relocating to fairfax county and they want really highly rated schools in this area the schools are kind of in the middle my wife and i don't put as much emphasis or weight on the school ratings we are more or less concerned about will they be ready for college which is our end goal i believe that the schools do a great job with teaching and preparing the kids uh, for college. Another con to living in Kingstown is the price of real estate. We have $600,000 townhomes. Now a $600,000 townhouse doesn't mean you're going to get a garage either. For a two car garage, you're probably paying in the mid sevens to the mid eights. When it comes to single family homes, our single family homes are around the $900,000 price point. I will say we do have these two bedroom single family homes that are in the $600,000 price points but usually most people aren't looking for just two bedrooms when it comes to single family homes we also have single family homes that go up to 1.4 million dollars for six bedrooms so we have a wide variety of prices but you are going to be paying more than a half a million dollars to live in kingstown if you heard a lot of things about kingstown and either you're physically challenged or if you're getting up there in age you're going to be surprised to learn that none of our condos have elevators in them they're all all walk-ups. That could be a big con for anyone who wants to age in place. We do have condominiums that have bottom floor units. If having an elevator is extremely important to you, we do have a 55 plus community that's on the outskirts of the Kingstown area that comes with an elevator. I'm pretty sure some people are going to debate me on this one or disagree with me, but Kingstown is semi walkable. So we do have a town center, which has a lot of retail stores, a lot of restaurants, and it's a great attraction. You have to cross a major street to get there. There's no residential properties on that side of the road. So it's semi walkable. You could walk to it, but you would probably not. There's this massive parking lot that you have to get through. So Kingstown isn't that walkable. Not not like places like Del Rey, where you have a commercial street. So you have houses that are just on the next block or really next door 
to commercial space. It's not walkable like Reston where you have mixed use development. So you have condominium developments right next to a movie theater, right next to a grocery store. So it's semi walkable, which could be a con if you're looking for a walkable community. This con to living in Kingstown is personal to me in that this area is very transient. We've said goodbye to so many good friends because they were either in the military, they retired out of their position, or they just wanted to relocate to a lower cost of living area. There's a big military presence inside the Kingstown community, despite the high prices. And that could lead you to saying goodbye to your neighbors who you've grown attached to over time. I will say this though, our kids who have also been living here for 10 years, just like us, have friends that have been in the community from kindergarten to 10th grade. Now that we know the pros and cons of living in Kingstown, let me know your opinion. If you are from the area, what con did I miss? If you're not from the area, what con kind of rubs you the wrong way, what pro you're really excited about. With the information you know now, you're ready to watch our ultimate guide to Kingstown, which is gonna be right here on the screen. I will see you in the next video. Peace.